So let's have a look at some Panasonic S1H uh, ProRes RAW recording, and I'm going to compare that directly against internal recording on that camera. So this is ProRes RAW 800 ISO 5.9K. Here we're just looking at uh, detail, um, sharpness, uh, overall color representation of the image. I haven't touched it anyway. This is as shot coming out of the camera. Um, and, and I want to compare this against the internal recording because it's one of the weaker points I found on the S1H was its internal 5.9K recording because it was only done at uh, 420 uh, 10-bit. There seemed to be a lot of noise um, reduction being added by Panasonic to that image and it looked a little bit soft. And as you can see here, um, you can see the difference between the raw recording and the internal recording here. Uh, uh, the internal recording just looks a lot softer. So now if we do a 200% crop on those exact same images, just so we can have a little bit uh, more of a, a closer look at what's going on. This is the ProRes RAW recording. Again, you can see plenty of detail, um, nice amount of sharpness. Uh, there you can see all the little fine details uh, on the robot. So it's certainly uh, producing a lot better results, I think, than the internal recording. So now if we jump to that internal recording, you can see here it's noticeably softer um, and there is less detail in the image. The uh, spatial noise reduction that's being applied by Panasonic is obviously having an effect um, on that image. Of course, you are going to notice that you're getting an increased noise, obviously, when shooting in ProRes RAW as opposed to that internal recording. So if we do a side-by-side -side now on a 200% crop, just so you can see a direct comparison between the two. And you can see the 42010, but it still looks all right but you can see that it's uh, it's a softer, um, particularly when you're resolving details and fine, fine um, information. The ProRes RAW there definitely has an advantage. As you can see at 800 ISO, there, there is a little bit more noise, but it's not that noticeable. So now if we go even further, we go a 300% side-by-side crop, and we've gone down on the feet here, because I'll talk to that in a minute. As you can see, it, it is resolving more detail, but look at the difference in the color here. So that robot's feet, are supposed to be red, they're not supposed to be orange, and you can see on the 420 10-bit internal recording um, that they are orange and not red. So uh, the ProRes RAW recording is obviously um, doing a lot better job uh, representing accurate color. So now let's go to 4000 ISO, the S1H is second native ISO. Again, this is ProRes RAW first off. And you can see there is a bit of noise there in the image, but it's not too bad. I, I would find this perfectly acceptable. I'm sure if you wanted to clean up a little bit with a little bit of noise reduction, it'd work well. This is the internal 420 10-bit at 4000 ISO. As you can tell, um, you know, less noise in the image, but it is going to lack slightly uh, less detail than we were seeing with the ProRes RAW recording, but it's still doing an okay job here. Again, let's just do a split screen. Of both of those. This is uh, 420 10-bit at the top, ProRes RAW at the bottom, and you can see the difference there. Slightly more detail and sharpness in the ProRes RAW recording as opposed to the internal recording. Now let's just do a split screen 200% crop at 4000 ISO, and we're just looking at the noise here mainly. As you can see, there is a bit more noise um, in the image as opposed to recording internally when doing the ProRes RAW. That's to be expected, of course. Um, you can clean this up quite easily um, in post if need be. So again, let's just do a 200% crop here on the ProRes RAW 4000 ISO. Just looking at the detail there again. And as you can see, it's resolving a lot more than what you'll get with the internal recording seeing all that fine amount of detail and the little patterning that's happening on the robot. This is the 420 10-bit internal recording. Uh, we're just having a look at it and you're just looking at uh, sharpness and fine detail that's being resolved here and there's definitely an advantage using the, the ProRes RAW. Now let's just do a 200% crop side by side on both of those images just so we can have another look again. And as you can see, uh, the same thing as we saw at 800, no real surprise. It's resolving more detail and it's a little bit sharper than the internal uh, recording. But again, with the expense of that uh, added noise, 